Hi, my name is Bob Brooks. I'm 19 years old. This is the first dip video that I made. I'm doing a review on Cock Capital, Brandon Can. Still hasn't been broke yet. And this is actually the second can I bought this month. Of it, I really don't. I typically try not to use it. I try to stick with Copenhagen Grizzly, but cheapest enough there is is kayak apple or kayak, any brand or any flavor, not brand. I'm going to tell you about kayak apple. And if you don't like snuff rings in your other's back pockets, I would suggest you to invest in a snuff holder that goes on your belt. You slide your snuff in, just like that. Mm. There's like a good holster for it. Kind of like a gun holster. Plants and everything. <coughs> Put it on your belt. Take the end of your belt loop or belt. And you have a slit on the back of it. Like that. And you slide your belt through it. Like that. And put your belt on like you usually would. But, uh, but before we talking more about it, I'm gonna get a pen. I'm gonna pack, crack, pack, and do it. As I showed y'all, can and open. Best way to open a can. If you're just opening it up, turn it upside down. And have your finger, you know, pointing down, up. To the uh, lid, easiest way to crack open the can, I think. I think it's cracked. Yep. And considering it's a knee can, you really don't have to pack it, but I'm going to pack it just in case. When you pack it, you want to grab it like that, pack downwards. You can grab it by the edges and hit the top of the lid. I tend to pack it like that. And as you can tell, full can, none's been taken out of it yet. It has the apple smell to it, but it ain't like a regular apple smell. It's kind of a sour apple, apple smell. The taste of it's pretty decent. And yes, spitting in a water bottle. I had money for my drug mess. We all gonna diss about that. This is actually the second video that I'm making. The first one didn't have sound at all. So let's. Pack a dip, pack a lip. Then that will be good for a video. That one was too big. Okay. Mm. I got a small doll thing. That's gonna be hard. And talk with it in. I'm gonna try my best to. You just try not to get a big pants. I don't know. I just done that. But it has a good taste to it. I try to stay away from it. Really, 
tank because that's how much because it's the cheapest and they don't have a lot of money to you know, Cape Hagen or Grizzly I suggest kayak they have kayak gray, kayak capital, kayak winter green yeah. Kite grape, winter green, apple, straight, natural, and they come in different coats, long coat, fine coat, but this is long coat, and I can find long coat easier to pinch than fine coat, uh -uh. I have to say, yeah, starting out dipping, kayak is the best because it don't have that burn sensation like Grizzly and Copenhagen and all the other snow says. Uh, I enjoy using it, but I can stay away from it, like I said. I had several Copenhagen cans over there on my. Uh, not stand. I have two Copenhagen Renegade Lays, six Copenhagen Southern Land Lays coined, and I uploaded a video showing how to coin a Copenhagen Lays. That's the only lid that's easy, that's the easiest to coin. Is I tried to coin a grizzly lid or you know that. I just like how to coin a lid by watching the YouTube videos um other people that does a lot of videos on here. You know. I can check out their videos too. They probably go this only mention their names, but I tried getting their permission, had, had nothing back from them, emailed them. Uh -uh. One of them's Outlaw Dipper. Actually has two YouTube channels. It has Outlaw. Oh, and it has, uh, Lifted Thrill. Then you have Country Kansas. He does a lot of dip videos. Uh, Mud Jug. Mud Jug 1, matter of fact. It's my job, it's, uh, oh, it's Dorson's uh, YouTube channel. He has his own website, mojog.com. You can get on there, buy mojogs, different. He has all kinds of them on there, but they, they ain't cheap, put it that way. They're about $30 a jug. Cheapest I saw is 10 bucks. They come all the way from Cali. And I tend not to see a lot of city folks dip. I really don't see a lot of country people in the city, but I guess living in a big state like that, some of them will dip. And actually, the first video that I made last night used my old can I got last Monday. And if you see the one in the label says this product can cause mouse, mouse cancer. And on the only side it says this product can cause gun disease, cheats all, so bad. Wait. That's not I was going to my Copenhagen list to see if I could if I could find this one in right here. This product is not a safe alternative to cigarettes. That's false. It is a safe alternative, but you have more nicotine percentage in snuff than the cigarettes. Cigars has a lot of nicotine in it, but uh, it's starting to do kayak apple, kayak green green, or not kayak green green because that's going to give you a burn. Most people, they'll put a dip of green green in, mint, uh, Get making straight all that in and it burns them. But uh, kite cap don't have the burn, kite grape don't have the burn. 
Okay, hey, with the kayak great, takes just a great cost to not get at all. I don't like the flavor, I'd rather have apple if I get kayak. I did try kayak green again, it's pretty good. But if you don't like, and another thing about kayak, you will get floaties. Yeah. They ain't big floaties, but when you talk, you can, when you touch the top roof of your mouth, you can feel the grains on top. I'm actually spitting out a lot of grains, but I'm actually trying to keep it pat down, and as you can tell, there ain't a big glob like it was when I first put it in, I smoothed it around some. Like that. Most of it was they can just get like that and show you this snow. We gotta reposition it after you do that because your lip right there will push it up, your gum will haunt your lip. And necessarily you don't have to. Have to use your tongue to push it down if it's right there, you can just cut uh, that with your lip and it pushes it down. Packs it more like me. Uh oh. -uh. This is actually the first enough that I did try, one of them. And I first started dipping because one of my buddies, buddies had it. And he put one in, and I figured, hey, why not try it? Just learning how to dip and all that, so. So he told me he, he had a can of kayak apple, and a can of skull wintergreen. And I was 14 when I started dipping, very young age, but I'm from the country, so most people will start dipping at a long age. But you can't buy it at a young age, you have to be 18 to buy it. Some states you had to be over 18, like Alabama you had to be 19 to buy, Florida 18, Georgia 18. I don't know about other states. But, uh, this, this is a dollar nine nine can now. Cape and Hagen, that should have a can, can right here, Cape and Hagen, Southern Blend. And it's actually four thirty-eight a can now. So that's what I was saying I had some that's a coin. And if I had a hat, I'll show y'all how what you could do with them after you coin them. I'm just gonna use another lid to show y'all what you can do. Oh, right, matter of fact, I can use my belt. But uh, then coin them before you ban them. It's like that. Unbent. That one's bent. But, uh, I'll show y'all how to do it with one that ain't bent, but you can take. So this is. So this is your hat, or ability hat. You would take it like that. It has a warning label on the bottom. Yeah, you can advertise the Copenhagen sign or logo. And what you do is hold it and bend it. Just, just like that. And it just like that. Pinch it only. Most people don't do it like that, they have it off to the side, like that. And you can actually, people can actually see the Copenhagen logo. Most of the, most of those that I have has the same warnings on them. Right. 
smokeless tobacco is addictive. This product can cause mouth cancer. Addictive. Yeah. Addictive. Mouse can't see. I actually don't have no fine cut. That there's a uh, coin. I tend to try to collect them. I do get Copenhagen lids, and when the lids that I do have, not all of them will have it. Most Copenhagen lids now won't have bottom advertisements like that. And I give in 10,000 bucks, for it's instantly if you uh, at festcape.com. That's actually the whole lid right there. I was demonstrating on how to bend it last night, and this one was already bent, and I unfolded it and all that. That actually broke the point because it's real thin, like I said. And here's another one that I haven't bent yet. Because not all of them are just about bent other than this one. And I'm going to show you how to bend it without putting it on a belt, on a uh, hat. Do it the same way. Get it up underneath the uh, morning. If, if you can tell, right there is an indention. And you bend it just like that. Like that, see, no one in no more. It is long cut. I, I, I like to be long cut because it don't have all the flavors that fine cut will have, and you don't lose as much as it might take when you spit. But one thing about kayak, it does produce a lot of the saliva in your mouth. It, so yeah, it's constantly spitting. Some people can go 10 15 minutes without spit, and I can't. I say it every, every minute or two. Put it back in the lid. Like that. This is my collection of them. Copenhagen and Sutherland. Uh, kayak, like I said, you don't have. Too much nicotine in it, like Copenhagen, grizzly. Just enough to start out with, like I said. I try, this enough I did try is kayak, as you can tell, Copenhagen, uh, grizzly in the green. Grizzly 1900s, Copenhagen silver top, which is Copenhagen snuff. Copenhagen black, which is actually a bourbon blend flavor. Uh, southern blend is Kind of like a Hennessy flavor to it. Uh, Kevin Hagen's real big on trying to replicate the taste of, uh, of the uh, whiskeys uh, and all that. One flavor of Hagen that I did like other than the uh, Rainy Green and Southern Blend was actually the Kevin Hagen Straight, uh, Kevin Hagen. Uh, Hickory blend, it's that taste. It's kind of like wood. It smells like a hickory. But, uh, I got two cans of kayak now. That's the fullest can. And I don't have that much left in this can. I have about two. Three, four pinches there. Not very many. So I went ahead and got a new can. Most people when I try to do a review, I want to use a brand new can to show y'all how to open it and all that. Most of them won't. But kayak ain't, it, ain't the uh, actual brand name of it. Kayak does not only snuff, it's just the brand of it. It's the company that makes it is. 
เออเออซื้อให้ข้าวเนี่ยเออเดี๋ยวเก๋สวิสสวิสซี่สวิสเองคูเปอร์เรียลเออเซลล์ออนลีเพเฮบิดเอินนัทเซกส์แล้วเดนอินนัทเซกส์แต่ฉันนี่คือจริงๆสัตว์อันนี้ the net weight is one point Two ounces. Okay. Yeah, one point two ounces. And there's actually a stamp on it. Four twenty three zero G. Don't know what that means. But as you can tell, it don't have a date stamped on the bottom. Don't have guaranteed fresh on it. Like Cape Manhagen, if you can tell, has a guaranteed fresh. And it has some stamp writing on the bottom of it. And it's a year's patent. That's what the 423 AG stands for. That's why the patent number of it. But this is Smokeless Tobacco Company out of Nashville, Tennessee. So you can see. And it has a Hotline that you can call to give give your comments about it. So this it don't have no number that you can call. But it's a hundred percent domestic grown tobacco. And this is one point two ounces and forty three uh, thirty four point oh two grams. Something else that's very unique about it is if you buy it in a roll, like I usually buy them in a roll, the boy code, it's always the same throughout the uh, roll of the snuff. That boy code is 033 and this one is the same. So, I regulated the same boy code. I don't know how that happened. Probably the uh, packaging number of it. Probably out of the same wall. You can keep these for a month or over a year, and they tend to stay a little fresh. When it gets into a year, year and a half, it starts to turn brown, but it stays moist. And one way I found out how you can actually make it moist, that it dries out, put dabs of water in it, and there's a website online where you can buy refreshing spray for it. I don't have none of that. If I did, I'll show you how you would use it. But as you can tell, that ain't got out yet, which is when they can. Old can ain't got out yet. That's kind of the thing, but that's the old lid. I, I try to stay away from the plastic lids. I uh, have metal lids because plastic is easy to break sometimes. Uh, this is metal, if y'all can't tell. But uh, the thing about Copenhagen, you're not subject. Uh, it's actually 100% American tobacco. So I'm allowed in the United States, 
and they're just so prohibited as then you have to be 18 by it unless if your parents, uncle, aunt, grandparents buys it for you. But, uh, This don't say nothing about age on it at all. But you do have to be 18 by by any type of snuff. You know. It has a decent flavor to it. And it has the fruity apple flavor. Most people say it says that the uh, apple grape berry and all that is whiskey's. Most people around here did see Cape Hagen or Grizzly Wind Ring, Cape Hagen, Silver Top, uh, any, any big, big name brand. But I think the reason kayak's so cheap is because a lot of people don't buy it. But I can of Cape Hagen Silver Top, if I had a can I would show y'all. But Cape Hagen Silver Top is actually around six, seven dollars a can now. Or it might be eight dollars now. I ain't sure. Grizzly is around eight. Uh -oh. Kayak is starting out. Use it. Good as the first dip. I actually can go through a can of Copenhagen within two to three days. Kayak will last me a week, two weeks tops. Because I dip about. Kayak go go dip for a bit. Two or three times a day. Cape May Hagen, it's like nine, ten times a day, depending on what kind of meat I'm in. But I tend not to dip a lot around the house. But like, like most jobs that you'll get, but allow you to get on smoking breaks and all that. And some jobs will let you dip inside. This facility, some won't. Uh, construction, you probably can dip on the job, I ain't sure. But, uh, uh, correctional officers, they will dip, then, then work and all that. But, uh, you know, I actually see a lot of correctional officers with big dips in. Uh-uh. Something else about where I'm from, most stores will ID you, most will ask you your birthday if you don't have your ID. Most people can actually get away with underage, underage buying. All you have to do is say your birthday real fast and hope that they understand you and they don't make you repeat it slow. When you repeat it slowly, some people mistake it as their actual year. Some will actually say, well, now you had, it's 2014 now, so you, you had to be 18 by as of today. Where if you were 17 10 years old, you would be born in 93 to buy it today or tomorrow. Or if you bought it yesterday, and you were getting this story and be like, oh, my birthday is. Uh, Tell twenty three ninety five. Or, you know, they say, can you repeat that if they didn't hear you? And they got tell twenty three ninety six. It's this which that would put them at eighteen. But, which I don't know. I said ninety six. So it would actually be ninety seven if you were seventeen. And, but I actually ran into a store in Alabama when I was eighteen. Yeah, old Copenhagen Running Green. And the store clerk and asked for my ID. He just looked at me and went, You're not too much. I was 18 at the time. I went, Yeah. Two days later, I went back, or the following week, I went back to get another can and asked me the same question. Then just got tired of asking me once I kept getting in there a lot. Buy it. But, uh, most places in Alabama, if they know you real well or you do a lot of business with them, they tend not to give you a hard time about buying tobacco. Yeah, about 
at a young age, especially if you're 18, because you can get straight across the Florida line and buy it. But I tend to stay out of Alabama if I'm going to buy it under age. But now, since I'm 19, I can actually get it and buy it. The snuff is actually cheap in Alabama for some reason. This is probably a dollar, fifty dollar, forty something in Alabama. Copenhagen's probably two, three dollar, two, two dollars a can, three dollars a can. As in Florida, it's four or five dollars a can. Altogether, after taxes. Now that's fitting in the bottle. No, uh, yeah, here's the lid. Because you can always replace the cap, and it's easy because if you accidentally knock it over, it won't spill. As in, if you spit in a can, it's going to spill. Everybody actually had a can that I tried showing you how to use this spit in last night. Not that. Just push it in, made the hole bigger. And just like that. Yeah. Hmm. Just like that. And the reason my spit said oil is some of the grains they come out, it will change the uh, color of it. The only time you'll have toffee black spit if you use a uh, chin back of that and you chew it a lot. Most people will put a chew in and not chew it at all, they just oh, gnaw on it. Not gnaw on it, but uh, get the flavor out of it and all that. Some people will put it in and suck on it to get the juice flowing. Kayak, you don't have to do that. Copenhagen, you really none of that. You have to do it with like pouches. You'll have to suck on it to get the juice activated or the, the first 10. Five ten times that you spit, it will be like clear saliva coming out, and then once you see, get the get the flavor activated, it'll start turning into like a light brown color. But uh, I don't do pouches. I did at one point. I done the the uh, marble snus. It ain't snus. It it looks like it's snus, but it's Pronounce snooze S N O O S or however you want to or however it's spelled. I, ain't, I don't know how they spell snooze. I just know that they're on the can. It's snooze. Well, it looks like snooze, but it's pronounced snooze. But uh, there's, there's online stores where you can buy tobacco for them. Like if you can't find. A certain tobacco that you use in your in your town, city, whatever. You can get on there and uh, order it when it comes to the mill. I never ordered it offline, so I don't, can't tell y'all how long it would take, but I guess it would take three to five business days. But uh, Outlaw, he has his own website of merchandise. You can get keep it picking hillbilly shirts, hats, beanies, bananas, uh, stickers, decoys for your car, truck, whatever you got. You know, most most of all, just your friends probably don't like y'all dipping, so if you're getting yeast enough, don't dip it on chicks, because some of them don't. Find a chapter, some of them do. But, uh, that's class M. They don't have, this don't have the tax class on it. So I can't tell you what class it is. But I'm guessing it's tax class M as well. And, as I showed you on the Copenhagen can, it's that older. Well, no. uh, Tennessee. But kayak. I don't 
don't say that it's out of. No, we only can. And there's actually some cans of kayak that can get it that will actually have a picture of kayak on it. Of a kayak on it. This, my two cans don't. Some of the older cans of kayak don't have the one in label on them. Some cans of skull don't have one in labels. But, uh, Cape Man Grizz, all they can say is it. And if you don't like the, uh, winning labels, you can actually go to, uh, mudjug.com, I believe it is. And it has lead tops that you can get. Get that. It'll say mudjug on it. And you just slide them out over the lid, and it's just blank, but it has bandaged on it. It'll have mudjug written across it. I actually saw a video of Outlaw that shows some of his that he just got. And Outlaw tries to put new videos up on Mondays and Fridays, or Mondays and Thursdays. If we can't put one up on a uh, Thursday, he'll put it up on a Friday. If we can't put one up on Monday, you can guarantee that he will do a longer video on Thursday. He might upload a video Tuesday or Wednesday. You know, most people will oh, spend a mojo like this. Some people will spend a can, cup, bottles. But if you spend a cup, most of them will actually put napkins down in the cup. They absorb the spit. So as they knock it over, the spit won't run down the table or whatever forward. But, uh, If you're clumsy like I am, you probably want to spend a bottle of a mud jug because a mud jug is kind of like a bottle. You turn it upside down, nothing comes out. Mud jug is the same way. Hey, but, uh, Outlaw, he makes a good, he makes good videos. His intro did a video, he'll say yellow. Uh, uh, but if he's a, he had to done a review of Skull Berry for 100k likes on his Instagram. And on the intro, he did say yellow, but he, later on in the video, after he said yellow, he says the color of the day is purple because the Skull Berry is a purple can. But I guess the color for today for me would be. Green, neon green that is. Uh, I guess Copenhagen Southern Blend would be a copper tone color. Uh, let's see what color my Copenhagen Green Green Lid or Green, dark green, like that. And another thing that I found unique about Copenhagen. Let's see, I can find one that I can't see you very good. I don't have one. Uh -oh. Let's see. I just will point out to y'all how about that. If I can find. Ah, oh, right there. Logos. Most Copenhagen cans you will see has CW on it. And the reason behind it is George Raymond, Raymond, whatever his name, last name is, he actually is the own, uh, founder of Copenhagen in the eight, or, yeah, 1800s. And uh, he named it Copenhagen, or as you can tell, it's Copenhagen. And his last name is a W, Copenhagen, Raymond's Copenhagen. Nice people will take up and take away and then, uh, we actually try to do it as Raymond's Copenhagen because he's the founder of it. Kayak, I don't say that he actually came up with it. All I know is Swissler puts it out. He has Swissler Sweets and I guess that's how they came up with the big blends and great Apple, all that, all the fruit flavors, because Swiss is sweet. 
Sweets is Swiss is incorporated as well, and they have the Swiss is Sweets, grape, uh, apple, watermelon, peach, uh, tropical fusion, light cat. Uh, blueberry yum yum, I think is one of them. Cotton candy. No, I don't think it's cotton candy. I don't know. I wouldn't know because I really don't buy this to sweets. Try to stick with my normal snow. And uh, a tip for y'all. You get strung by a bee or a yellow jacket. And it's going to sting it basically. You can actually moisten snuff. You actually draw the sting out of it, draw the toxins out of it. And then uh, what you would do is put a little pinch in your mouth and put it on the sting. Right. This has been for a while. I'll show y'all how you would do it. And it probably will go so out. But say that, say that I got stung uh, right there. That would be what you would do, put a little pinch in your mouth and eat in there. Like that. And you would put it on there. I'm putting that back in my mouth, just stuck on my fingernail. Or you would do that and press down on it. And it draws out all the toxins. You'll get snuff residue. Like that, the juices from it. No, no, no. Yeah. I ain't gonna erase that. I'm gonna put it right back in, right the door. I can't tell it was on there. I actually got flutters in my mouth right then. Okay. And you can tell I just repositioned it and you can tell that I have one in right there. As people say, because most of my friends will look at me from this distance and tell that I have one in and they'll come talk to me and try to get one for me. Most of the time I will give them one, unless if I just have a little bit left. I don't, I'm not going to fix my last dip, I won't give them one. But if I know that they will repay me back, which most of them will. About here, yeah, take my last pinch. I don't care. Because most of my friends that she bought me cans before. You know, I'm probably trying to do it on shit. So it actually says, I, I hit Hot International. Took the IHOP label. And the International House of Pancakes. But I hip hop at the national. My uncle actually gave me this trick. What is it? He got it from. Right how he got it. But. By the way, this on vacations and all that. Ain't took. Leave my usual shit that way, but I really don't have that many clothes now. But, uh. But, like, the can says can cause mouth cancer, can cause gum disease, tooth loss. I really don't think that's entirely true. It might be, but I haven't got mouth cancer yet. I haven't had actual tooth loss from. The uh, snuff. But you have teeth that there. And you know, if I know where your wisdom teeth comes out, that, that has a hole in it. But I ain't fun enough, it's gonna hit myself in the jaw. But people tend to say, oh, that's, that's some snuff, that's some snuff. I, I don't think that's entirely true, but. Captain Hagen, you can use seven times a day. Won't make your mouth all at all. But, uh, Cape and Hagen, and it will make your mouth all.
Well, it would take too many dips a day. But so once you get used to it, you won't mind having the soreness in the mouth. It will make it raw, but you won't feel it. You know. But kayak, I just say, ain't a trip for snuffs I would get out and buy unless if I don't have money for it, but Nitric cans I didn't buy. And I said that actually bought them for me because I don't have a job yet. I'm actually looking for one. But, um, uh, this is the news can I keep putting it in the holster. But some tricks actually dig that you have the Captain Hagen ring, skull ring, grizzly ring in your back pocket. I tend to try not to ruin my pants pocket so it's gonna cause it real, real hole out in your back pocket. I actually have, have pants that actually has the Captain Hagen ring in it. But uh, I haven't used this, this really that much. Just because I don't have to wear a belt too, too much. If I do, I usually will have this on me. But, uh. Dipping. If your wife, girlfriend, or whatever don't like you smoking in the coil, you can dip in it if they will let you. Most of them won't because they don't want the grains in the coil. But if you get one in, put one in before you get in the car and you have a bottle, they really don't care. As long as you ain't spitting in a can or something that lets it out of the snuff out to the car. Cause it makes the car reek of snuff. Just like if you smoke in a car, it has that uh, smoke smell in it. But uh, I'm cutting with snuff. It, I did try a fine cut, didn't like it too much, because it's hard to keep it in your mouth. Because when you spit, the grain comes out. All that. And it's hard to actually get a pinch of a uh, fine cut. That kept me in snuff, it's actually a fine cut snuff, and I can't pinch it with one or two fingers. So I actually have to use two fingers. I could find to get a pinch of it. Over now, try to get a big pinch, it would actually just come out like that. So I would have to use two fingers like that to get a big one. And it is sticky if you can tell. See all the grannies and residue. Light brown color residue on your fingers. It's the majority of the grains back in there. If you can't, wipe it off on your pants, clean it off like that. But another thing is, most people throw it away once they can't get no more snuff out of it, but. If you can tell them you have grains on the bottom of the lid and on, let's see, I just got that, breaking it all down. You have grains on the side, you can scrape, scrape the edges and get that last depth out, which the last depth ain't too big, it probably would come out like that, a small pinch, rat, ratchet is what I call them. You know, most people that starts out dipping, they won't get a big one because it's hard to control when it's just start. And how most people can't pack it with their tongue when they start it because the taste of it getting on the tongue will make them sick. They will pack it down with their fingers. That's the only with that. It just, just when you pack it down with your fingers, it gets all on your finger and all that. And you use the majority of the dip. So I tend to pack it down with my tongue. 
Uh, uh. Mm. Try not to swallow it because it couldn't make you sick. It happened to swallow some of the grains. Uh, pull up his lugan and spit it. That will get all the grains out of the your throat and all that. Try not to dip on an empty stomach. Some people can, I can't. If I dip on an empty stomach, most of the time I'll get sick. So I can eat something first. But if you eat before you put a pinch of snuff in, and you gotta get, you get a pinch of snuff after you get done eating, drink a bottle of water. Because it will, because they won't have that, uh, what I call it, stringy. You spit, it will be a thin little spit. But if you get done eating them and put one in, you have the stringy spit. So I tend not to dip with dip after I get done eating unless if I drink a bottle of water, sweet tea, something like that. Coke, spot, Mountain Dew. But uh, I think I covered it all. One thing I would not advise y'all to do if y'all start and dip, don't use cake making. Don't use grizzly. I don't know about long corn, never tried it. I did try steak this. It's funny where I'm from, you can't get a standard old can of steak like this. You'll actually get it in a tub about that tall and about that big round. And it comes in a pocket can. Personal can. Or I call it a pocket can. But it's just like that. What you would actually do is take the can and get in the tub like that and scoop it up. You have a whole can, place the lid, and you have your own can of stokers that you can carry around with you wherever you go. You don't have to carry that big old tub because you can't put that tub in your pocket. But, uh, I have tried other kinds of stuff like grizzly, cape hanging, like I said, skull. I tried plug in the back, which is actually a compressed brick. I tried leave like it, red man. I tried rooster before, which is actually a nasal snuff, but I don't put it up my nose. I will put it in my jaw. It's rooster. It's actually a blend taste snuff. It don't have. It don't have. Like the mini green flavors in it, don't have mint, don't have straight, none of that. It's just original snuff, grounded up snuff, real fine, like salt grain, sand grains. A fine cut is just a little bit bigger than the salt grain. But I'll do a review on. Eventually, I'll do a review on how to use top sweet snuff, you non know, sweet snuff that I found. Elaine and yeah, Elaine and moist enough. It's actually a just enough. Some of the older people actually will use uh, the nasal snow, like rooster tops and navy. Uh, I want to say there's another one, beach nuts. Elaine and nasal snow. That's two in the back here. Days work is plugs or cannonball is plugs. And actually cannonball is a spicy snuff. Uh, chew. It's actually a cinnamon flavor to it. How do you on plugs and the nasal snuff? But uh Nasal snuff, you can't pinch out, you do regular snuff like this. You actually would use a spoon or dump it in your mouth. When I do a review, I'll dump it in my mouth and show you how to use it, how to pack it, and all that. You actually can make homemade pouches out of tea bags, or instant coffee bags, up folded bags, or left in bags, whatever. But, uh, I think that's it. Y'all have any 
and questions, comment below. Y'all you know, have a snuff that I want to, like I want me to do a review on. Put it in the comment below. Uh, try to find this enough that I'm at. If not, don't have to wait to tell you. Subscribe to my ch channel if you don't want to. I try to keep making videos. Man about snuff. Uh, I should have another video on here. A minute long. Minute, minute and a half long ago. And five button. Don't know why I put it. Well, I put it up there to see. I could actually upload the videos to YouTube. But when I was uploading videos, is when I'd done the bonfire one, I used my iPod. Most people use a cell phone to put one. Some people use a cam recorder. But uh, some people will have a laptop that has a built-in camera like I do. Build a microphone. And hopefully this one has sound. The one that's when I went to upload it and before I done it I figured I'll make sure there was sound on it so y'all could hear me talking. And I went to listen to it and my lips was moving. But no sound. I thought my volume was down, it was on ten. So I turned it all the way up, still didn't hear myself talking. So I had to get all through my settings. Things on the uh, cam recorder on the UCAM. Can't decide link you can. I just found out that it was on a stereo mic, mic. Which, that's actually a mic that you would plug into your computer or have a built in or an external camera that has the internal microphone on it. That you would plug into your uh, USB drive or whatever. I never used a. I never used a. Uh, It's going to camera, which I know uploaded videos. This is going to be the actual video that I uploaded to me talking. But, uh, I have comments on how to improve this video. Comment below. I ain't going to edit it any. Most people have some music that playing in the background. I'll try to do that in my next video if I can figure out how to do it without using a stereo system. Probably use an online app on my computer or a downloadable app on my computer to play down the video. I listen to most of the country songs. I always listen to rap, but now and then like Tupac, Eminem, Little Wayne, Snoop Lion, uh, Snoop Dogg, uh, Haystack, McMillan. That's in today with Luke Bryan. Uh, Relax, Georgia boys. There's actually is one singer that's from a couple of towns over from me, small town or small city, as I would say. And he's an upcoming music artist, country music artist. His name's Kenny Grimes. Check out his channel. He has some good videos or music videos. He uh has a documentary on the important one and part two of his lifestyle, him coming up. And uh, one of his songs that I enjoy listening to is Tailgate Romance is one of them. Uh, uh, Down and Out, which is actually a spiritual, inspirational, spiritual, so, uh, country song about how he was thrown down before and all that and he turned to the Lord and how the Lord helped him and he's actually a music artist that ain't stingy ain't stuck up like some of them uh, he has a Facebook page Kenny Grimes and uh and uh what else he enjoys making music videos. He does a lot of covers for Jason Aldean, uh, Kenny Chesney, Tim McGall, Luke Bryan, and all them. And there's actually another country music store from Central Florida. 
Yeah, he his name's Buddy Brown. He has some good songs out. Mason Joy, uh, Shotgun Red, and uh, Ask questions that only a uh, country boy can answer about getting directions, how to you talk to your buddies around a bonfire, uh, get on a date with country girls, all that. How's, how to get brown points from good videos. Uh, in Kenny Grimes, y'all can talk to him, I'll talk to him on his Facebook, comment on his YouTube videos, he's a good singer, yeah he is, uh, well, I ain't gonna criticize him, it's, you really can't criticize him, he has a good voice, good singing voice, has a lot of potential for himself, but, uh, I guess nothing that tastes bad there now. How to get out, I usually had to get a toothpick and dig it out, use a knife to dig it out. But, uh, I ain't too worried about it. Pouches, you can actually put them up there to use. You can't put loose snuff up there, because it, cause it will get all over your mouth. But, uh, I think that's about it. I probably just, I think I'm just rambling on, which I really am. This is actually the first video that I made. I try to get better as I make them. I'm about rambling on today on the subject. And something about kayak. Apple. It says Apple, green can. Easy to find in the local. Uh, convenience stores, shopping centers, like one more of uh, Pick of Wrigley, uh, Food Line, uh, all that, wherever you buy it to back that, they usually have kayak, they will have Cape and Hagen Grizzly, all that. Some liquor stores sells it. But where I'm from, it's actually kind of hard to find kite captain. Where well, if you ain't in a big city like a small town up the road from our house, they don't have kayak cat where they have kite straight, natural, and all of its fine cut. But, uh, they're good stories. They try not to sell tobacco. They, if they do, it'll be cheap brands like kayak. That's the cheapest brand that you can find. There's uh, a whole lot of people who use it. I'm just using it because that's all that we can afford right now. But, uh, next review that I will do, I will try to tell y'all when Kayak came out. Not with the snuff and all that. Uh, Copenhagen and Grizzly came out in 1800, or 18, 1900s. Copenhagen was 1800s, I think. Grizzly came out in 1900s. But not all of them have satisfaction since such and such date. Uh -oh. Tell me how I done on this video. Comment, subscribe. Y'all have any questions? Feel free to ask. And that's it. Hope y'all have a good day.